All right, how's it going? Jose Trujillo again here for you guys uh, from the studio with another one of my my sketches, my uh, little paintings. I'm going to I'm going to do a couple of uh, wine bottles and. Uh, I've been getting into them lately. I, I really I love the shape. I love the how fluid one can get when when, when you're when you're creating this. And again, this 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 painting, you know, mainly come from a, from a sketches, you know, that, that I, I like creating and and uh, I've accumulated over the years. But uh, for the most part, this 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 is uh, almost by osmosis in my mind. No. I'll make these little two wine bottles right here. And I have this light coming right here. I love using uh, purple, especially this uh, dioxazine purple for my shades, for, for a number of things, but I love using it. Uh, the shade, the shadows. Um, you, if you follow, uh, if you follow the impressionism or, or you, you you read about it, um, this this cat used to love um, uh, capturing light as uh, the, as it moved, right, almost uh, uh, to a scientific level. Um, or approach, and one of the characteristics of impressionism is is uh, light is fleeting, you know, and and so you have to catch it with quick brushwork. It's one of the one of the things that I like to do. You have to capture it with quick brushwork, and not only that, you you have to. Um, not that you have to, <laughs> but uh, I guess that's, it's the game. I like that language. But uh, as you're capturing it, you'll see shadows. You'll see the shades. And these are not the same as, as, uh, as in, in, in traditional painting, where in traditional painting you would have uh, the shades being dark brown or, or, or almost uh, Red, very dark red, or or, or black tones, or you know the, the the shadow is very dark, and it almost meant the uh, a lot of a lot of artists like definitely like to do that. And I mean, I, I I like to do that every now and then, also just because I I like to stay fluid, not just you know one thing or one style. But uh, an impressionism that meant without gearing too too much off. An impressionism that meant that 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 you were non-conforming, you know, to the, to the, to the style of the time, you know, and one of the guys who, who was very famous for doing very dark, even though he was considered very modern, <clears throat> like everyone, like everyone when they start, it's very modern, and then, and then they're, they're not, right, the younger generations come, but that was Gustave Courbet, he used to do uh, his work very, very, uh, very dark umber, brown, red, heavy red tones palette, and the impressionists were like, oh, I don't want to do that, you know, I've got to be different than this guy, something like that. <laughs> but it was to oppose the status quo, which I thought was pretty cool, very, very bothy of them. Um, you don't see much uh, in, in modern painters, you see it in modern art, you see a lot of like in Dada and stuff like that, but it's 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 a little bit more difficult to find it in, in modern art, modern painting. I mean, to see that, I guess uh, uh, it's just my opinion. Maybe because um, we feel like everything's been done or something. I don't know. But one thing that I feel like. I enjoy very much, as you can see here, I like to paint fast, and 
like I mentioned in other in my videos, the main reason, the ultimate reason why I love painting quick is because I'm trying to get to that place where I can fully express my my vision, you know. And and I've learned over the years that in order for me to get to that place, I have to I have to uh, allow it to come forth very spontaneously. You know, I have to allow it to to show itself in a spontaneous manner, not not a uh, I guess not 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 waiting to to let me see this little line right here. Let me cover it and cover it and cover it. And, you know, that's not what I do. What I do is. I feel it, <laughs> and I go with it, and and to me that's to me that's to me that's bliss. It's pure bliss. I feel it. I don't know what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna I'm gonna nose dive in. I have an idea of what it's gonna look like, but I no longer um, uh, care. I guess about that. Uh, my over the years I. I've, I've dove in seriously, I guess, is that the word, dove, dive, <laughs> seriously into, into my, my, not just my skill, but, but into my, my vision, my, my voice as an artist, so what, what makes, what makes, uh, what makes a Trujillo a Trujillo, and, and I've come to understand, not because I was trying to, you know, oh, let me find out what makes me me, no, but I, but because when you're painting as an artist, you're you have this running commentary for the most part. Uh, I guess when you're doing anything, that uh, if you're not careful, it'll say in your mind, you know, you're you're, you're working on something, and and you could be telling yourself, oh, this is not good enough, or oh, this uh, this should have been here or there. And that run, that running commentary is, it can be very painful, you know, uh, in anything you do, any endeavor you take, whether you're a, I think whether you're a, a doctor or a lawyer, whatever it is that you do, that running commentary can be very painful. And in art, I've come to understand it that it's a, it's a subtle feeling of of fear, you know, a bit of inadequacy, of oh, I'm not sure if. if it, 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 an art is very it's very quick to find it because you're kind of making it up as you go and and so you always have these surprises you know and that's what I love about painting it's it's, it's this this uh, sort of quick aspect of it you know that that creates a, a suspense almost <laughs> until until you you uh, until you nail it, whatever that is for you, you know. And I'm not looking for it to look a specific way. I'm I'm looking for it to to come out whatever it looks like. It'll be accepted. And that's that. <laughs> Let me sign it. These are two wine bottles by yours truly, Jose Trujillo. Till next time.